Taser, 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 taser. Send like a 21, I got one running from me down the highway, dispatch. Uh, well, now you're going to jail. Hey. Ow. 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 Hands. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Why is there an ambulance involved in this chase? Tackle him. He did it. Put him into a pole. We got him. Send like a 21 rollover crash my location dispatch. Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Devon Plays LSPDFR. Today, we are headed out with the Vinewood Police Department. Um, we actually used this charger once before. I should actually be using the Explorer, but uh, we just used an Explorer last episode, and I really like this charger, so we're going to use it instead. This has the awesome uh, Code 3 light bar with all blue lighting on it that I absolutely love. Um, this pack doesn't come this way. I had to do the all blue lighting myself, but uh, beyond that, awesome pack great looking cars really excited to get to use it with the new computer uh, so we can use it on a uh, you know full power I guess you could say so all right we're gonna get out here into Vinewood see what we got going on we'll take some calls might do some traffic we'll see what's going on let's get started 10 Lincoln 21 show me out with one Copy that. hey stupid come here Wow hold up you know what a sidewalk is? You should try using one. Come over here. Alright. Got your ID on you? Hey you, you got your ID? So you probably figured it out already. Oh, come here! You doofus. On the ground. Oh god. Can I just see blood go flying out of her head? Stop! Did not have to go down this way, lady. Lay down on the ground. Lay down on the ground right now. Lay down on the ground. 10 Lincoln 21. I've got one resisting, dispatch. 10-4, 10, Lincoln 21. All right, we're going to take him to custody here. All right, dispatch, I got her under control. Roger. Show one in custody. Okay, so now it's doing this weird thing again. All right, go ahead. Let go. Okay. Stand still and press this. Okay. All right, so now she's... All right. So now we have to taser again, or get her to lay down again. Police! It did this um, did this on the LSPD episode a couple episodes ago. She should just jump back up and be... There we go. Yep, that got her. So, what was all that in aid of, lady? Like, why did you feel the need to run off from me? I just wanted to talk to you and tell you not to jaywalk and run your ID and probably let you go. So that tells me that there's probably some reason why you, uh, you, uh, ran off from me, so. Jesus Christ. Well, never mind. That guy's okay. Probably shouldn't be jaywalking. Anyway. By the time I got in the car, I got after him to be long gone, and we got this lady to deal with anyway, so. Anyway. Why'd you take off from me? Are you being detained? Yes, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't always against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand your rights? Yes, I need to tell my side of the story. Yes, I know. If you'd like to tell your side of the story, that's totally fine, and I'm more than willing to listen. So why did you run off from me? No reason? You just ran off for no reason. There's no reason that you took off from me. 10 Lincoln 21, start me a female unit. Assistance needed in downtown Vinewood. So, all right. Well, I'm going to get a female out here to pat you down before she gets here. Do you want to talk about anything illegal you have on you? Yes, I know exactly who you are. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this. I want to see if she's under the influence of anything. Nope, doesn't appear to be. Expired license. This is uh, Alicia White. Okay, Alicia. Well, that was basically your chance to... Uh, it was basically your chance to uh, be honest with me and let me know what was going on. I could have worked with you, but never mind. Go ahead and pat her down for me, please, if you'd be so kind. All right. Nothing of interest. Okay, she's got nothing on her. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna run her name. Will you hang out with her for a second? Hey, stop by the hotel later. All right, let's see what she's got going on here. Alicia. No, smoking violation, motorcycle lane splitting, failure to signal. No big deal. All right. 
Well, let's just go ahead and write her for her resisting, and we'll write her a hey, uh, write her a jaywalking ticket. So, crimes against authority, M to obstruction. Um, not gonna really write her for uh, for resisting arrest. She ain't not, she ain't got nothing on her. Whoops. We'll go ahead and submit that, and then we will write her a ticket for jaywalking. There we go. All right, Alicia. Well, it's your lucky day. I've, I've written you a ticket for jaywalking. In addition, I'm going to be releasing you. Uh, you are under arrest, so this is this is a piece of paper that's going to give you your court date on it. You need to show up for your court date, or you're going to uh, have a warrant issued for your arrest. So I'm going to uh, go ahead. You want to take her cuffs off her for me, please? What the Whoa! Hell was that? that was weird. Okay. Well, there's your ticket. I just gave it to the thin air. Go on, move. You're All covered. Right. All right, thank you. Actually, you're free to go, ma'am. Thank you very much. So, okay. But anyway, just make sure you show up to court, or there's gonna be a warrant for your arrest, and we're gonna be talking again, okay? And that said, you're uh, you're free to go, Alicia. Stay All the right. fuck out of the road, okay? Off you go. All right. That's gonna do Son it for her. Bitch. Hopefully, we'll see her in court. Let's go ahead and uh, 10 Lincoln 21. You can show me 10 8. Copy that. What the f- Dispatch calling unit 10, Lincoln You're lucky. 21. We have You're real lucky. Ah, damn it. That was my own fault. Copy, dispatch. Idiot. Lincoln 13 is in the area. Dispatch, we got I was gonna go around the block, but that didn't in. really work out very well, and I slammed into the back of that truck like a retard, but anyway. Usually I drive better than that, you guys know that. All right, so it looks like we're trying to catch up to a pursuit of a motorcycle here. They're heading out to the county. You're getting some uh, massive air there. There's the uh, Los Santos unit. 10 link at 21, I've joined the pursuit dispatch. Oops. Shouldn't have been sitting there. Oh, that cop almost took that lady out. Jeez. The spike is... I'm going to take primary. I'm taking primary. We're east on Mirror Drive. I see the bike now. All right, it looks like we're turning. Uh, he turned around. Shit. Check up for 10, Lincoln 21. No need for checks. Copy that. He's gonna get away. Nah, no, he ain't getting away. No, this one is not getting away, man. He's gotta be right up here. There he is. That works. Lucky me. 10 Lincoln 21, I've reacquired the target dispatch. We're south in El Rancho. Dispatch. There we go. Looks like there's two of them. Alright, I don't want to spike them. We just gotta hope they make a mistake, really. Because if they happen to, uh, make a mistake, they... Damn it, don't move, stupid. It's your own fault for rolling forward. I have hit more vehicles in this one pursuit than, like, the last five videos combined. Try to get in front of him and, uh, roadblock him. Nope, didn't work. Not exactly the safest maneuver there. But really, I don't care. Try it again. Nope. All right. All right, so we're, uh, we're west on Capitol. Coming back into, uh, the city. I do appear to be the only unit involved. I thought he was about to biff it in the back of that truck. All right, we're headed through South LS right now. He's turning left onto uh, Strawberry. Nope, nope. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Ah, uh, you fucking idiot. Uh, it looks like he went this way. All right. We're north on Elgin now. Guy just had to pull up. 
All right, nope, we're doing a U-turn. Nope, we're doing a doing a full circle. Doing a full circle, now we're getting on the highway. Let's state no dispatch, we're getting on the highway. Backup required on um, Olympic Freeway. All right, which way are we going? We're in pursuit. All right, we're taking a 5 South. We're on 5 South, I think. Let's hit my cruiser. All right, we're getting back off the highway now. Need to take the ramp, how sad. All right, and we're back on again. Still south on the five. Ten Lincoln 21 requesting roadblock. Assistance required. Target vehicle license plate. Ocean, Robert, Sam, four, three, six, four. It's over, dude. Get off the bike. Get off the bike right now. That's my bike. That's my bike now. All right, that, I'm on the driver. I'm on the driver. Got a ground. Stop. Ten like a twenty-one. Nice. Taser deployed. Dispatch. Can I get another unit out here for this other guy. Assistance needed on a uh, Can I get traffic stopped too? My God, these people. These people in Los Santos, man. I'll check it out. Dude, you're under arrest. Hi, right, the other guy's still there. I might not even charge him with resisting because he's still there. Dude, what the fuck? Come on, game. Police! Lay the fuck down. Whatever the hell you're doing. I can get him in custody here. There we go. Get up. Get up. There we go. 10 Lincoln 21. Show one in custody. Copy that. There, I got this guy. Alright, he is confused and disoriented, which I imagine taking a massive tumble off his bike could do that. That guy's just. Oh, he's, he was trying to steal my car. Okay. Have a taser, too. LSPD! Shoot ya. Give it up, dude. Okay, so the only reason that he was still there is he was trying to steal my car and couldn't figure out that it was unlocked. Go to your knees. Go to your... Okay, fine. Lay down. Police! Hands Lay down on the now. ground. Lay down on the ground right now. What? Right, don't move. Don't move. Tim Lincoln 21, I got both suspects in custody. Thanks for the backup, dispatch. This is dispatch. No further units required. Copy that. Yeah, that was a sarcastic thank you. Just you where the fuck were you? Like right now, someone manages to show up. Like, hey man, I'm here. I don't even know where his car is. I'm gonna turn my siren off real quick here. Again, automatic siren cutoff didn't work because I usually travel with my ELS lock on. So. There we go. I'm gonna turn my lights down, actually. The cruiser's tore up. Chief's gonna be pissed. All right. There we go. All right. Guy in the white's the driver. We'll deal with him first. You know what? I'm getting real sketched out here. Slow the hell down. There we go. Why'd you run off from us, man? Just book me. No need to talk. Ah, oh, it's like that, is it? All right, dude, I'm going to pat you down, then. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. So he's got an unloaded Colt Delta Elite, a rap flyer concert, a list of local high school students with various names and ages beside each, and some loose change. Okay. We have a pseudo question for this. Uh, what's up with these names, man? It's about gambling debt. You run in a high school gambling ring. You're a fucking winner. This is uh, Franco something or other. I, I missed his name, man. What's up with this gun, dude? Why are you carrying an unloaded gun for? I don't have to answer that, cop. Okay, you sure don't. Where'd you get the gun, though? Fuck you. All right, it's like that, is it? Okay. All right. Fair enough. How about you, man? I'm trying to steal my car. That's another charge. Tempted. Okay, guys. Why? Why was you guys running? 
didn't seem like a good idea at the time. Yeah, how did it end up for you, man? Let's see here. Uh, you got anything illegal on you want to tell me about, man? Yeah, I'm not going to get fired for this, man. Turn around. Go ahead and pat you down. Okay, so he's got a Purple Rabbit branded baggie containing less than three grams of tan powder, a meltdown transcript, a faded Vice City postcard from from 86, a grocery list, and a bottle of eye drops is Bob Martin. Hi, Bob Martin. You want to tell me about what this... Uh, by the way, you're under arrest as well. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say you can't always against you to court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. You understand your rights, dude? You don't? Okay, well, whatever. No one's understood their rights recently. All right, man, you don't have to answer questions. That's all I'm going to say. But uh, if you do, maybe I can help you out. Uh, let's see here. What's this uh, What's this tan powder, man? You know as well as I do, that's dope. Okay. All right, man, that's fine. Will you watch them for a minute, please, since you didn't do anything else today? Search the bike real quick, too. Probably have, like, a barbecue grill or a lawn mower or something on it. A uh, pair of work gloves, a baggie containing white powder weighing 10 grams, a pizza, this pizza, and... An 8-ounce codeine cough syrup bottle. Okay, so I buy the gloves, I buy the powder, and I buy the 8-ounce codeine cough syrup bottle, but I'm not buying the pizza. So, I'll ask the driver about the, uh, the 10 grams of white powder. Hey, dude. Once again, you don't have to answer any questions if you don't want to, but what's this white powder I found on your bike? Alright, you refuse to answer any questions, that's fine. We'll go test it and figure out what it is. Alrighty, let's walk over here to our car. Our very tore up car. That's not the right button. That's also not the right button. That's also not the right button. There we go. I'd find the right button eventually. Alright, let's see here. So, some tan powder. And some white powder. Been a while since we've had two types of drugs. Last couple episodes didn't have a whole lot of drugs in them, actually. Alright, let's test the tan powder first. Let's hit, hit it with the marquee reagent. Nope. Alright, see if it's cocaine. It could be. Nope. Okay, is it fentanyl? Are we seeing a resurgence of fentanyl in the city? It's possible. Yep, it's fentanyl. Okay, how about this white powder? We'll test that for cocaine first. Could be uh, it could be heroin. They could be planning to mix the two, though. No, all right. Let's see, let's see if it's anything under the marquee reagent. Yep, it's meth. Okay, so we got meth. He's got a. Uh, yeah, he's got a uh, ten grams of meth, and then a little bit of fentanyl. Okay. Uh, the passenger had the fentanyl. They're both gonna go for the... Well, we'll ask. Alright, man. I understand you didn't want to answer any questions, and that's fine, so you can choose not to answer this one, too. But, uh... Let's see here. Who's, uh, who's baggy and meth on the bike is that? Much better than a tree get the fuck out of here, okay? How about you, fat boy? This your meth? I'm betting it's not, but, uh, this your meth? Alright, man, that's a yes or no question, my guy. Is this or is this not your baggie of meth? It is. Okay, cool. You just saved your buddy from catching a charge for it, so you're catching both narcotics charges. Sounds good. Okay, well, they've still got plenty of other things to be charged for, so let's go check their records. And then I will go ahead and get them charged, and we'll get back up into the up into Vinewood and see what's going on. Um, let's see here. So Bob Martin was the passenger. He's got a warrant for uh, assault or resisting uh, federal officers. He's got a federal warrant for resisting federal officers at, at a level two. And then uh, Franco Gonzalez has a warrant for possession of criminal tools. So that would explain why they were running, because they both got warrants. So, all right, they got warrants, they got drugs, and one of them had an unloaded gun. So, all right, let's get them dealt with, and then we'll get back up into the city. We're going to be stopping this car with the uh, blue underglow here, but since we wrecked the shit out of the Charger, I figured we'd go ahead and uh, take out the Explorer. What the shit? Eh, whatever. Anyway, 10 Lincoln 21 requesting plate check. 
So it's a uh, Sabre... That's nah, not what I want. That's not a Sabre GT in front of me. That's a Comet. Target vehicle license plate. Queen, Ocean, Boy, 3, 3, Not eight, who I wanted. Three. There we go. Let's go ahead and... Uh, save. Oops, my ELS lock's on. Whoa! That's one way to do it! What are you doing? What the fuck? Agreed! Since you've decided to hit a person with your car, I'm charging him for that. 10 Lincoln 21, show me on a stop. Copy that is backup needed. Negative. Copy that. Proceed with caution. Okay, let's see what we got here. Aside from someone who we know now is going to jail. It's a Comet. Uh, William Frank George, 4586. Valid and clear on the vehicle. Daniel York is the RO. Daniel York is also valid and clear. Does have a handgun permit. Uh, improper overtaking and uh, unlawful to operate a bike on the highway. Okay. Big deal. Check up for 10. No need for 21. checks. Copy that. Proceed with caution. No need for checks. Roger that. Hey, dude. Uh, I'm Officer Devin, Vinewood Police Department. So the reason for the stop, well actually, first of all, do you have your ID on you, sir? Hey you, you got your ID? Driver's nervous and sweating, does not appear to be under the influence, however. Thanks. Okay. So we do have, this is Drake Avante. This is not the R over the vehicle. So, all right, man. Um, so do you know why I pulled you over, bud? You're not the boss of me. <laughs> I mean, no, not technically, but uh, yeah, the reason, <laughs> I'm sorry. You you kind of killed me with that, man. So the reason I pulled you over was, uh, one, uh, where is it? Oh, no, it's, uh, equipment fractions. It's unlawful to use underglow lights while you're in motion, man. Damn, forgot they were on. Uh, coming from a show, sorry. Okay. I'd, I'd, almost, I'd, I'd actually be willing to buy that. But, uh, is this your vehicle? No, it belongs to my friend. Okay, and are they where you have it? Are you being detained? Yes, you are being detained on a legal traffic stop, man. So I asked you a question. Is your friend aware you have their vehicle? Yeah, it's in my vehicle. What? No, that's not what I asked you. You know, it doesn't really actually matter, man. Get out of the car. Because the, the, the most important thing here is that you actually hit somebody with Wait this up. car while you were pulling over. So that's going to end up being... That, that probably is going to end up being... Uh, misdemeanor assault, but uh, all right, man. Go ahead, turn around, put your hands you on your back for me, dude. You're under arrest for vehicular assault. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't always against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand your rights, my man? Yes, you do. Okay, that's great. Good, man. Uh, that, that's good. So, again, does your friend know you're using the vehicle? Okay, but they wouldn't care that you'd be using it? Okay, all right, man. All right. You want to go ahead and tell me if you got anything illegal on you, though? Might have some pills, but they're for a prescription. Okay. All right, man. How about in the car? Anything in the car? There is something in the car? What am I going to find when I search it, dude? Because I'm going to search it. Okay, so you're not going to tell me what I'm... Okay. So there is something in there, but you don't want to tell me what it is. All right, man. Come on. 10 Lincoln 21. Show one in custody. Copy that. Keep up on this side. That pole's not as close as I thought it was. All right. All right, man. Go ahead and have a, go ahead and have a seat in the back of the vehicle here. Excellent. Thank you very much. Boom. Okay. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and search the vehicle here. Did I not pat him down? I didn't pat him down. Holy crap. A bloodstain lost MC cut, an unloaded high point CF380, a limited LTD receipt, several ULSA student IDs under other, other people's names, picture of an unidentified flying object over downtown Los Santos, and a pawn and jewelry receipt. There's nothing legal in here. He's got an unloaded um, high point. So, if he, I mean, it, it, it's carrying a concealed. If he doesn't have a, uh, if he doesn't have a permit, and I'm not sure if he does, then it's 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 it's, it's a misdemeanor charge. This bloodstained uh, lost MC cuts kind of weird. I'm asking if he has any relation to them. Several so ULSA student IDs under under other people's names. That's probably stolen IDs. All right, I'm gonna try it again. Unfortunately, I've been having an issue where the stop the ped menu isn't isn't working inside the car. Yeah, see, it just disappears on me. So that kind of sucks. That's a great update, though. So I'll have to figure out what's going on with that. 
Go ahead and hop out the car. Here we go. Alright, man. A couple of questions for you. Um, that gun in the car, it's not loaded, but do you have a permit for it? You do? Okay, and is it yours? No, you're not free to go. I already explained this to you, man. Where'd you get that gun from? You found it. Okay. Why are you carrying it for? Okay. Alright. So you want to tell me why you're carrying an unloaded gun? Because you're an idiot. Got it. Okay. And then also, uh, do you have any affiliation with the Lost? Those are my brothers. I ain't no rat. Oh, okay. So are you, you're, you're telling me you are a member of the Lost MC. Okay. All right, cool. Can't charge him with participating in gang activity, though. Because he hasn't done anything. All he's doing is driving a car. Can't really charge him for that. But that's okay. Now we know. Just might be able to get some information out of him, though. So. Ten Lincoln 21 requesting tow truck. Ten Lincoln 21 requesting tow truck. Being, being kind of persnickety. Flatbed, backup required. All right. And downtown Still haven't wood. patted it down. My God, I am losing my brain over here. God, he could have killed us. Turn around, man. I'm gonna pat you down. Unless we did pat him down, and my my old self just forgot about it. No, we definitely didn't pat him down. Several social security cards with the same number but different names. Green bandana, plane ticket to Las Venturas, a picture of the Lone Bank Tower with a note in a foreign language, a pencil, and a wedding invitation. Uh, okay, so... just want to ask him about... wanted to ask him about those ID cards either way, actually. So why do you have... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Why do you have all this different identification on you, man? That's the person I identify as now. So you identify as multiple people? Okay. Carlos, what the fuck is going on with the boat? Oh. All right. I hear we can't Back in the car. This weekend? Back in the car for the final time, man. There we go. All right. Now we can finally check up the record. So let's see what we got here. He's got a warrant too. Trafficking and drugs, 50, 50, 50 times bulk. Jeez. Okay, so that's um, some kind of um, schedule one, two, or three narcotics. So that's something smaller time, but still. And he did say he might have some pills, so that makes sense. So, all right, man, I'm gonna get this guy. Uh, I'm gonna get this guy booked, and I'm not sure if uh, we got time for one more or not. So I'm gonna check, and we'll be back either way. Okay, so that is gonna do it for our episode. We'll keep this one kind of short. But uh, we do have four people we want to do the court thing with, so let's go ahead and do that. Alicia White was the uh, jaywalker. I accidentally deleted her ticket, but that's not a big deal. We got the charges important. We ended up charging her with obstruction of official business since, you know, we went to talk to her, and uh, she just took off running. And she's going to do three months. Wow. I think that's the max sentence for uh, for him to... So, uh, yeah, the judge was not very happy with her. So, yeah, she's, she's going to do three months for her, uh, for her efforts in obstructing us during our investigation of her jaywalking and other such crimes. So that's great. Uh, Franco Gonzalez was the driver of the bike that led us on a chase down the highway. I'm charging him with uh, M2 resisting arrest as he took off running. Failed to comply with signal of an officer at an F3. Misdemeanor carrying a concealed weapon because it was unloaded. And then a uh, possession of criminal tools. He didn't catch any of the drugs because his buddy owned up to it and said they were all his. So that's fine with me. Uh, he gets three years. It's fine with me. Most of that's actually coming from the possession of criminal tools. He only got... Oh, I take that back. That's 10 months. Yeah, so he's getting... Yeah, he's getting three years. It works for me. So, yeah. Great. It's perfect. Bob Martin was his uh, his conspirator. He was the pastor of the bite. We charged him with the complicity in crime since he said it sounded like a good idea to run. I'm assuming they were both complicit in it. Um, possession of drugs. Uh, that's for the codeine. That's for the fentanyl. And that's for the methamphetamine. Uh, and then also, he had a warrant for uh, resisting federal officers. So he had a federal warrant, and he's doing 11 years, mostly for the complicity. But he also got three years on his federal rap, so that works for me. 11 years total. We won't be seeing him in a, him for a while. And then uh, Drake Avante was the last guy we dealt with. him charging him with identity fraud for the uh, obviously manufactured Social Security cards. Uh, vehicular assault for the person he, he hit while we were pulling him over. Uh, trafficking in drugs, uh, 50 times bulk was the, uh, or 50 plus times bulk was the warrant that he had. Carrying a concealed weapon, uh, unloaded pistol in the car. Um, receiving stolen property. Actually, I should have charged him with uh, weapons under disability too, but oh well. Receiving stolen property for the ULSA IDs and the position of criminal tools for those uh, for those social security cards. And he's going to do nine years and five months. 
Um, eight years for the trafficking. That's really where most of his time came from. So, all right, great. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR. I, I know I enjoyed making it for you guys. So uh, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Sub to the channel if you haven't so you can get notifications when I put out new videos, which is pretty much every day. Um, but uh, join the Discord if you want to. Love to talk to you guys. Uh, but no matter what you guys do, you stay safe out there, okay?